Okay, this is going to be a mini lesson on cell parts and functions. Uh, cell parts uh, will also be referred to uh, as cell organelles or the structure uh, within a cell. Uh, we will look at the cell uh, in this video just as um, what makes up a cell and, and what are their jobs, the functions of those parts. So let's get going. Uh, the first uh, part that we'll talk about is a nucleus. Now what you see on the screen is pretty standard throughout this uh, presentation. You will see um, that we'll talk about its function or its job, uh, where it's found in terms of both uh, plants and animals, prokaryote uh, or eukaryote cells, and what processes um, are they involved in. In this case, uh, you'll see a picture of a nucleus. You should be able to identify the nucleus by um, its structure um, and then know that its function is to control all cell activities. It's like uh, the brain's the operation. It's the one that's going to control the cell activities. It's going to decide uh, what gets done and when. Uh, the nucleus is where we see all our DNA and, and our genetic material as well. So you can see inside of uh, the nucleus right now, you see the chromosomes which contain the DNA. Uh, they are found in eukaryotic cells only, um, which means that both plants and animals will have a nucleus. Uh, you will not see it in bacteria or the prokaryotes. It is involved in two main cell processes, uh, cell reproduction and protein synthesis. Our next cell organelle that we will talk about is the mitochondria. Uh, you can see the mitochondria is a, a funny looking um, organelle with uh, some twisted up membranes inside of it to increase its surface area. Uh, its job is to create cellular energy. It will use a uh, chemical equation called uh, cellular uh, respiration, which we will learn about in a different video. It is found in both or in eukaryotic, uh, eukaryotic cells and um, both plants and animals have them. Uh, their main uh, process it's involved in is energy production, um, specifically respiration. The ribosomes. Uh, the ribosomes, uh, you can see on the screen, uh, is a really small organelle, even though uh, it looks really big on the screen, you'll see it's in two two main parts. You see the, the, the tan part right here is one part they call the large uh, ribosomal unit and this is the small one. But together as a, as a whole that's what a ribosome is. Its main function is to make proteins and that's a key one to remember. We will talk about the uh, ribosomes a lot. Uh, they are found in both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. <coughs> yes, and, and plants and animals both have ribosomes in them. So both the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells as well as plants and animals um, be, uh, falling into the eukaryotic cell type and it's involved in protein synthesis as its function implies. The chloroplasts, another um, energy producing um, organelle, its function is to capture sunlight and to create glucose and glucose I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. Uh, glucose is our molecule of energy, so it's a, a way that um, we can create energy. It is found in, uh, since it's a um, eukaryotic, it's found in eukaryotic cells, and since it's a sunlight capturing um, organelle, it's found only in plants. And you can see that's what the chloroplast looks like. Um, it's green because of the chlorophyll inside of it to help um, attract the correct wavelength of energy. And it's involved in energy production, just like the mitochondria are. Now chloroplasts are only found in plants, whereas mitochondria are both found in plants and animals. The cell membrane, uh, you can see the cell membrane in the picture uh, of the big, of the, uh, the full cell. It's the outside skin. Um, the outside skin, when we get up really close to it, will look like a double layer. And we'll talk specifically about that when we get to cell transport. Um, its function is to create a boundary uh, between the inside of the cell and the outside of the cell um, and control what goes in and out of the cell. It's found in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells uh, which will include then both plants and animals. And it's involved in two main processes. Um, it's involved in the cell reproduction piece as well as uh, the ability of the cell to maintain itself and support itself. So it's a cell maintenance and support. Um, if we look at it in terms of the characteristics of life, 
it definitely uh, is involved in the maintaining of homeostasis. The cell wall. The cell wall, uh, you can see here, it doesn't look a lot different in the picture from the cell membrane. However, when we get closer, we'll see that it's a really thick, um, thick boundary between the cell or the cell itself and the uh, environment. And the cell membrane is stuck right up next to the um, the cell wall. Now, the cell wall provides just some extra cell structure and a lot of protection. It's very rigid. Um, it provides a lot of shape. Um, it protects it from against the effects of gravity. Um, it is found in plants only, which um, is um, the eukaryotic example and is also found in a lot of the prokaryotes as well. Um, it is involved in cell maintenance and support. The Golgi apparatus. Uh, the Golgi apparatus um, is the one you see on the screen. Um, we'll see that near the, uh, a lot of times near the endoplasmic reticulum, which is coming up and um, on the, at the edge of the, uh, or near the cell membrane. Its job is to sort, modify, and package uh, molecules for transportation within the cell itself and externally to the other, other cells around it. You can see it's like a conveyor belt uh, going in one way, going out the other way. Uh, it is in eukaryotic cells only. Um, both plants and animals share uh, that um, organelle. It's involved in terms of cell processes. It's involved in protein synthesis. So we'll get the proteins there. It'll be modified and packaged and, and moved. Here's the endoplasmic reticulum. We also uh, abbreviate this ER, and you can see the endoplasmic reticulum here. It's usually right outside the nucleus. Um, that's for ease of, of uh, the, uh, the genetic information getting to the uh, makers of the protein. Its job is to assemble the proteins and then uh, make the membranes so that it can be exported um, to the correct places. And it's found in eukaryotic cells only. Uh, both plants and animals have endoplasmic reticulum. Its main process it's involved in is protein synthesis. The vacuole. The vacuole is a big, huge, open storage space um, for excess water, nutrients, wastes. Uh, it's used to maintain cell shape. There's a lot of uses for the vacuole, but it looks like a big, huge bubble inside the cell. Uh, it is found, they are found in eukaryotic cells. Um, it was once thought that uh, they were only in plant cells since they are very prominent in plants, but we find them both in plants and animals, much more uh, so, uh, much more obvious in plants. Um, and finally, it's involved in the cell maintenance and support. Um, I, it, another big um, molecule, in, or a big organelle, I should say, in uh, the uh, maintaining of homeostasis. Lysosomes. Um, you can see here the lysosome is this little um, thing that's being formed here as the membrane pinches in around uh, things. It's getting digested. Uh, molecules here inside are being digested, um, being wrapped up. That's the job of the molecule or the lysosome. It digests molecules and other wastes for export from the cells. And so you'll start to see these things being formed, and that's what their job is. Uh, they are found in eukaryotic cells only and animals only, okay? Um, so that's kind of what we're doing, and, and it's involved in cell maintenance and support. Again, another uh, big organelle that's involved in maintaining homeostasis. And finally, uh, centrioles. And centrioles are the uh, control and organizing centers of cell division. And you can see the yellow colored um, organelle right there. You can see it more uh, close up um, as it looks like a bunch of tubules um, uh, that is used for um, moving around chromosomes and, and organizing cell division. Uh, they're found in eukaryotic cells only, uh, specifically the animals, and then uh, it's obviously involved in cell reproduction. And that's it. Uh, those are the, the main organelles that we are going to learn about uh, this year um, and their functions.